Welcome CRM crew, my name is Nick and in today's quick tutorial I'm going to be explaining how to create additional module layouts in Zoho CRM. So once you log into Zoho CRM of course you'll come to the home screen. Now in order to add a new layout to a module we need to go to the cog in the top right hand corner but do ensure you have administrative permissions. So I press a cog and then from here we want to go to uh, customization and then to modules and fields. So I'll select that and then we go, want to go to the module that we would like to create an additional layout for. So in this particular instance I'm going to use our leads module but of course you can use or sorry you can create a new layout for any particular module inside of the Zoho CRM system. So I'll select this particular module which is going to be leads press that and then as you can see here the first tab that it opens out on is layouts so we obviously have our standard layout and um, everyone has access to this particular layout and this is the layout that we see anytime that we go onto the leads module and create a new lead record now having or creating a new layout is really beneficial if you want to track entirely different things inside of the same module so let's say you've got a lead for this particular product and maybe a lead for an entirely different product um, and you want to track those using or you want to aid the tracking of those different leads through using different layouts and that is entirely possible there are a number of other reasons why you might create separate layouts um, but that is just one good example so in order to create a new layout we can just go to the new layout button at the top right hand corner here press new layout and then give our layout a name so I'm just going to call this layout test press the save button and then we need to set who we want our layout to be accessed by so at the moment it's set solely to administrator but if we press that we can also set it to standard and these are obviously the profiles in Zoho CRM that, that we can create and change or if we wanted to we could remove administrator add etc so you can add the profiles that you want to have access to these particular um, layouts and again that might be useful if you're trying to conceal data from the standard user and you only want the administrators to be able to see certain data or put in certain data for example so once you've done that press save the new layout has then been saved with the name and the permissions and then we can go ahead and edit accordingly so of course we've got all our fields on the left hand side here and i've gone over how to use these fields in a separate video so feel free to check that out um, it's how to create a, a custom module but we can just drag and drop accordingly, removing and adding all the various fields onto this particular module. And once we've changed the layout to suit what we would like to do, um, we can also, again, change a quick create um, layout for the quick create form for this particular layout and the detail view for this particular layout as well. But again, I've gone over that in a separate video. Um, if we then back out of this leads module, after we make ensure that you any change that you made you've then saved then go over to the leads module up the top left hand corner here um, create a new create a new lead so create a new lead record and then you'll be able to see at the top left that we have now a drop down menu next to create lead and this is where we can select our different layouts so if we select our new test layout which we've created which is identical to the standard one however if it was different all the different fields would lo load up entirely separate and essentially that is how to create a um, create an additional layout for a module inside of your Zoho CRM system I hope this video has clearly explained how to create additional module layouts in Zoho CRM if you do have any further questions, please drop me an email. My details are in the description below. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you shortly in the next video. Thank you and goodbye.